Now, listeners, I know you can't see, but Jenny is swaying and dancing to the magnificent soundtrack. Mm-hmm. And again, this is Adrian von Ziegler, though this time it is two hours of Celtic music, part one. And again, I'll be linking to his channel later, because quite frankly, I use him for so many role-playing games. Just absolutely amazing music. And I hope he isn't upset that I'm using his music. Thank you, Mr. Ziegler. Your music is fantastic. Moving on. Ah, oh. um, because it's you two apparently, <laughs> you managed to get lost on a dirt road, oh. and wound up inside the forest. Now I might be wrong because I don't have very good world law, but I don't think this is a mountain. The forest. The mountain is still in sight. Well, I think we might have taken a wrong turn. At um, Albuquerque. A very wrong turn. In fact, went in the complete opposite direction. And then ended up somewhere in the nearby forest. So you said we should have stopped and asked somebody. Just because I can't be trusted to talk to normal people. Well, I know I can't blame the pony, because I was the one riding it, so... <laughs> right, while you are trying to reorientate yourself, you are beset by two wolves Mm. this is an ambush attack so they will attack first then we'll start standard combat so one will be attacking Jenny and one will be attacking Dudley Mm. sorry Medea and Lance Mm. Okay, so it's good. One's going to go for Medea first. Mm. It misses. Hooray! And the other one goes for Lance. It hits. Would I be able to use my shield at this point? You can attempt to parry, yes. So I've got to roll the. No, no, you've got to roll the D100. So what is your parry chance with your shield? 100. 100. You have got to degrees of success. You need to succeed by twenty-five. So you need to get seventy-five or less to parry. Nine. Nine. Success. You parried. Well done. So their strike rank is seven. Janet, what is Medea's strike rank with her spear? Um. It is eight. Okay, so the wolves go before Medea. What about yours? You're using your shield, so you have to use either your sword or your spear. It will have to be... Yeah, both my sword and my spear are both at strike seven. I'm going to use my sword. Yeah, because then it's based on what the attack chance is. Yeah. Right, okay. So... There'll be three attacks happening at once. Uh, What's your percentage chance to hit? For the sword, 132. 132. Are you only do one definite hit, or are you going to split your attack? Um, I'll do one definite hit. One definite hit, okay. Yeah. So you're going to go for one definite hit on a wolf. Right? So, the wolf will attack at the same time as you. So, the wolf will have missed, but you will have hit by quite a good level. Okay, can you roll a d20 for me? That is a 20-sided die, that one. Eight. Eight. You hit it in its four quarters, so basically um, its upper back just before its neck. Right? And then can you roll your damage? What is the damage with your broadsword? D8 plus one. Uh, plus D4. Four. Yeah. Alright, so... So D8, a D4, and then add one to the total. So three, four, five. Five damage. Uh, two point four on the three damage. Okay, so it is quite badly hurt. It's also going for you. The other one's now going for you as well because you're attacking. It hits. You can't parry because obviously yep. you've attacked. So the damage is d eight. It can't get through your armour. Okay. Right. Alright. Uh, Medea. Yes. So, your turn. Right. 
What are you do gonna you, do? Do you want me to attack or do you want me to be a problem player? I don't mind. <laughs> do I'm, what you think your character would do. I'm gonna try and cast befuddle. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um what do I need to roll? Uh it's your enchantment though you're in combat, so minus twenty five. Okay. My enchantment's a hundred. Uh forty six. That is a pass. Mm-hmm. Right. You've cast the on one of the uh, walls. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, remember to take off your magic points. Okay. How much does it cost? Uh, two. Two. Mm-hmm. So I'm now down to six magic. Very good. So I have to keep some in something else. Yeah. So then we come back around to theirs in your combat. Hmm. Can I say I've befuddled the one that's less injured? So the one that's still at full health? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Cool. That's fine. That was your target. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Now you've got one that's confused. Nice. All right. So are you going to keep attacking the same one, or I'll attack the same one for now. Right. You and him are going to attack at the same time then. With my sword. He misses. Let's get the right dice. Fifty-four. Four. That's a hit. Uh, roll for damage. Nine. That's the wrong die. Oh, sorry. No, keep that one. So seven, eight. And then. And then you're all D twenty for location. Three. Three. Is it square in the three. That is the left leg. How much damage did you do again? Uh, that's. So it's the D eight with the D four plus one. Seven, eight. Well, fuck me. You um, cleaved its leg off. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, <laughs> you've just cleaved this poor wolf's leg off. The wolf now can't move. The other wolf is befuddled and attempts to shake it off. <laughs> and can't. It's going to attack the downed wolf. Oh my god. <laughs> it hits. Oh. <laughs> what did I do? Sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> that was really cruel. I didn't know it would do that. No, I mean what I said. Ten at melee. The other wolf has just attacked uh, the injured wolf that's had his leg lopped off. And I do mean lop, by the way. <laughs> Literally just... Yeah, you did double its health in one attack. Yeah. Just shore it right off. Just shore. Just... just leg gone. You hear about lucky uh, rabbit's foot. How about lucky wolf's foot? <laughs> and... It's basically gone for the bleeding wound that you caused to the back of its neck and has basically just it's ripped just, it to pieces. It's just killed its friend. Yeah. And it's there now eating its friend. <laughs> Possibly mate. Can the both of you uh, please roll uh, constitution, I suppose? Uh, 74. 13. Uh, Lance passes. Just... Ooh, just, just done. Madea, on the other hand, is utterly horrified and can't look. Oh no, you shouldn't be doing that. That's your friend. Don't do that. Do you decast befuddle then in your? Sleeper? No, that's a stupid thing to do. There Even we stupid are. Stupid. Also, that's crediting me with a little bit too much intelligence. I think you're fine. Mm, that would have happened if you critical failed. Hmm. So very good, very good. So that was your first encounter on this table. <laughs> And your first combat. Well done. You won combat and didn't take any damage very successfully. Yay. <laughs> now what are you going to do? There is a wolf eating another wolf here that is, isn't bothered by you two. If we're able to walk away and just leave it to it. Alright then. You walk away. Can I take its leg? <laughs> yes. Okay. Please put in your inventory wolf's leg. Right. Okay. I'm really sorry, guys. On that note, I need to nip to the loo again really quickly. Okay. Uh, let's pause there. Okay. Sorry, guys. Oh, there we go. It's recording. Fantastic. Basically, I'm going to cut it off at some point on this, so... <clears throat> okay, bubble, Five bubble. seconds of silence, and then we'll get back in, yeah? Okay, so just to catch back up, uh, you killed a wolf, you've left its mate to eat its corpse, and you've taken one of its legs. Mm, I've taken the leg that um, Lance chopped off. Got it. All right then. So nice and up to date. We've got one more encounter to do before you get to the mine. So 
Let's see if you guys can stay on the correct road this time. Should I roll anything, like my riding or anything? No. No. You I roll. Okay. No. This is all GM being horrible to us. You guys suck at following a road, don't you? We missed the road again. Yeah. It's not... Well, no, I'm not going to blame the pony again. It's my fault. Even though, my, even though I've got world lore at 30. Right, you guys just talk among yourselves while I work this out. You have come across scrubland with a carnivore or carnivores. Uh. You guys have got lost again, basically. And this time you got lost on a dirt path and are surrounded by more dirt. How did we get lost? All we had to do was point at the mountain and head for it. Well, I mean, there's like um, hedges in the way. Yeah, but if the hedges are in the way, then we're not on the path anymore. There was also some trees and logs and other rocks. Um, I tried mind reading the pony, but all it thinks is horses. It, horses? All it thinks about is hay. I think <laughs> I think I just realised that I've got my left and my right mixed up. Oh, okay. Well, that is quite easy. Yes. Yes, that's the reason how we managed to stray off this path. You have to do this with your hands and make the L. Make the L and the R. Well, or not an L and an R. Viewers cannot see what we're doing right now, but we have our hands in front of us. But with our thumbs sticking out. And if it, if your hand makes an L, that's your left. And then if your other hand, if you turn it pointing downwards, it makes an, a backwards facing R. Which doesn't help anyone. No, not it, really. If you do it the other way, it looks like something from Helsing. Yeah, you can make a square. <laughs> yeah. And if you do, if you hook your thumbs together like that, it's an eagle. <laughs> This Bird is of... why we got lost, because we were doing silly hand gestures. Ah, okay. The of Archimedes is my name, uh, eating my wings to make me tame. What? Helsing. Oh. It's what's written on Harry Potter's <laughs> coffin. Oh. Racing restriction on. zero. Right. Why well, you two have been arguing about yourselves we're as... We're not arguing, we're making hand gestures. It was still your fault we got lost. It's your fault I don't know my I'm left sure and my right. You're... I'm sure you're right, but I don't understand why you're shouting at me. I don't know either. I'm annoyed. We're lost. <laughs> lost and things have happened. Happening fast. I wouldn't be surprised if the phone doesn't ring. See? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> That's an oxhorn glass. Oh. <laughs> that was not a phone. It was phone shaped. Now... This time you have been beset by a singular, let's see how we do with this, no. a singular rock lizard, or Megasaurus Vanium. I give it the wolf leg. <laughs> okay, um, roll animal law. Yeah, carnival. Um, 16, holy shit, I passed. Uh, roll throw. Wow. 95, I don't pass oh. <laughs> That's fine. You basically just chuck it to the floor, but you've managed to distract it enough that it goes for the leg first, because it's easier food. <laughs> and, yes, now you... Get away. Yeah, you can get, get away. away. Get well done. Run away! Run away! <laughs> <laughs> well He's done. GM's plan done. is foiled. The GM has just thrown his monster manual down in despair. <laughs> No, I'm impressed by that, because that's what you can well, do. Well done. I wouldn't have thought of that. Mm. I wonder how long Cal thought I thought, thought you were just being from. sick. <laughs> no, nope, well, I was, actually. Just oh. But sickness can be helpful. Yeah. <laughs> that's why we still have the NHS. <laughs> um, oh, now I don't have a wolf leg in my inventory anymore. That's, that is fine. We should be, hopefully, on the right track this time. You are. You have arrived in front of the mine that you were informed about. I think this looks like the place. It's dark in there. There are unlit torches um, outside. Basically just sticks with some rags and lard on. That's lard on, not lard on. <laughs> I want to point out. They're not, it's not covered in bits of bacon. <laughs> Aww. Well, bacon coated torches, yum. <laughs> I was going to say we would have eaten our light sauce. Hmm. Um, I've got a fire starter. <laughs> Twisted fire starter. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I've, not, I've, got, I've got no source of no, ignition. I made fire! Can you roll D100 actually for me? Um, 66. Yeah, it lights okay. Yay! Yeah. Even a critical fail, I might have had the fire starter snap. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, broke like... my fire starter. 
It became a twisted fire starter and snapped. Ha 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 Okay, so you both got a torch. Yes. These torches have a light of about ten hours. And to be honest, from what the wizard told what Dumbledore told you, um you won't really be in here even that long. I mean it sounds like it's a fairly straightforward path. The only problem you'll have is that you won't be able to use your shield as long as you're carrying this um, well, I torch. I can probably light the way. I can almost promise I won't wander off. I was going to say, if I wanted to switch I'd have to drop the torch. Yeah. But you have both got a torch is the other thing. Yeah. So it depends on what you want to do. Well, if there's unlit torches, then surely if there's other torches in the tunnel, we can just light them on our way. Hmm. That's True. a good point. There should be brackets. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, you made notes, which I didn't, so... I've only just made a note that I have a torch in my... Um, inventory. Yeah, yeah, because I've not rooted it. I've not been making notes at <laughs> all. I don't even know what we're here for. Well, Very we... important role playing game players. Make notes, otherwise you will be fucked. Look, I know we're here for a magic sword or something. <laughs> so you've been paying attention just enough. <laughs> <laughs> but none of this is to do with spreading the gospel of Larry, so. Yeah, but the gospel of Larry surely needs funds. Yes, but we rely hey, on kindly hey. donations. Hey, we're not using that money that we have earned just to build some kind of cult or religion it's surrounding not a the talking cult. head. It's not a cult. Well, People only have to pay to get into the first level. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Membership is free, but then if you want to upgrade... <laughs> I'm not claiming that the world was formed by aliens. It's fine. It's are not you, a cult. Are you guys basically saying that religion is a... Uh, is a pay-to-win uh, tablet app phone game. Yes. All right then. Wait, no, 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 we're not. Baron von Balls, the page answering important questions about religion and life. It's essentially like Candy Crush. <laughs> See, I was going to go Clash of Clans. <laughs> hey, what Moving we on. We're in a cave. Yeah, you're in a dark cave. It's dark in here. Hmm, it is. Well. No shit. Let's I'm proceed observing. further, shall we? I'm observing. That is the point. I need to scan. So, yep, go on. Fifty hundred, and I'm at ninety-six. Eighty-seven. Eighty-one. Eighty-one. Sorry, <laughs> I can't tell my numbers. Does that pass? Yep. Okay, thank you. Um, you scan around, and you can see that it's only one path. This is clearly a very old mine shaft. And there's not particularly a lot different from any other mine shaft ever seen, or even pictures in books you've seen. Literally stone walls, um, a couple of um, mined out veins, uh, pickaxes here and there, that sort of thing. Hmm. I'm just hmm. thinking, if there's a pickaxe, I'm tempted just to mine a vein momentarily. It's Skyrim. Yeah. What's that? There's useful ores. I'm going to mine every yeah. single bit. You want to go? Yeah. All right. Uh, mineral law. Uh, ten. Ten. Okay, go for it. Eight. No. All right. Now roll. Uh, what's your halberd skill? Uh, is that the percentage one or yeah. 23? 23. Roll 23 or less and we'll see what happens. Damn. None. Nah. Now, the, um, to be honest, it's so old and so weak that the um, uh, pickaxe head actually just snaps off and crumbles to dust. You oh. broke it! Well, I didn't realise it was so old, but it was worth a try. Mm. It's still dark in here. It is, but you have got the torch to see how light you are. Your torches give you enough light to see about 10, 15 metres ahead of you. I know. Okay. I'm being observant. You're not afraid of the dark, are you, my dear? I don't think so. You don't sound very sure. But it's been a while. I usually avoid dark places. Right. Do you carry on? 